Hello, in this quick demonstration we're going to take a look at how to reuse data or features from multiple CAD systems. In this example, I'm going to store the data in a library, making it easy to reuse, therefore increasing productivity. So here I have my library set up where I'm going to store these features. This is the part in question where I want to add these features from other sources, meaning other CAD systems. So if I window over to the other part from the other CAD system, I'm just going to come over here in my library and define a reusable object. Notice how my filter is set to faces because, in this case, because it's coming from another CAD system, it's not going to have intelligent features. It's kind of a dumb solid, for lack of a better term. I'm sure you've heard that, that term before. I'm going to give it a descriptive name. Maybe just call it Mounting Boss. And notice down here I can define a region to give me a preview to go along with that descriptive name. Now that's in my library item. If I come over here to another window, which has another um, part from another CAD system, I'm going to go ahead and define another reusable object. Once again, grabbing those faces. For descriptive name, let's just call this boss. And then we're going to give it a preview as well. As far as specifying this orientation, whenever I reuse this, you'll see that when I drag it on, that's going to be the handle point on how we place this particular boss feature in our other design. If I window back over to the part where I'm trying to add these features, now I can drag and drop them straight from my library. You see I can position them using this triad. I can snap to certain key points, to the face in this case, and right on the fly I can go ahead and boolean um, unite those uh, with just a single click. So now that's adding it to the body which I have on the screen. And once again, we took this from the reuse library. I'm going to go ahead and pull on the other feature, drop it on this face. You'll see that I have my pivot point set up because I specified the point of orientation whenever I stored the the library item and I'm going to go ahead and unite this to my existing design as well. So if you think about it, I grab faces here so these are not smart features meaning there's not parametric height width sketches associated with them because I'm use, using them from other CAD systems. What we want to do is take advantage of some direct modeling tools and place dimensions straight to these faces meaning that I can come in here and intelligently pick up coplanar faces and also add other faces that I want to move. In this case, even though this is a dumb solid for lack of a better term, I can go ahead and resize this using these direct editing tools. Now that's 22 millimeters high. So in this example you saw how we could take data features from other CAD systems, bring them into our design using a library, and make them our own using direct modeling tools.